Vizier, but not with you. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me! Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet! I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. <laughs> she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, Kate. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the, uh, view. Hey, Lieutenant, put your tongue back in your mouth before you trip on it. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women, shaking their asses on the stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? Back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Alliance Military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. 
Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You got off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for c isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why'd you go ask him about that? I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Is that really... Wow! It's you! You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are... My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Too many lights, too much noise. You think it's expensive to live here? Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed... It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. 
I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I should be going. As you say, Earth Clan, good day to you. Best place on this board to buy upgrades. I don't think you buy this. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, Bill. I can't help you. But, what, what do you... Can't help you. Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. I can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. 
What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander.